all right, going to do a video exposing the false religion of Mormonism. Mormonism is one of the uh, counterfeit cults that basically the pseudo Christian cult started in the 1800s. Uh, it was one of Satan's attempts to try to hinder and attack the great revivals going on in America during this time. Uh, the Civil War was another one as well, another way of, of trying to hinder that revival, but a bit of a side issue. But Mormonism is one of the numerous pseudo cults, pseudo Christian cults started in the 1800s. And they have all kinds of just false doctrines and just weird heresies. And one of them is actually making God the Father into an image like a corruptible man. Okay? Uh, like I said, Mormonism is a counterfeit to biblical Christianity. Mormonism is a satanic and literally turns God the Father into, into a corruptible man. It's not saying what the Bible says that, that God sent his own son in the likeness of sinful flesh, Romans 8 3, but God the Father and, and the Son of God are present tense now in corrupt, tangible flesh, is what it says. The, uh, which shows that the Mormon God is a false God. Uh, but the Mormon God, like I said, is flesh and bones like men. This is in the Articles of Faith. It says, Therefore we know that both the Father and the Son are in form and statue perfect men. Each of them possess a tangible body of flesh and bones. Not, you know, you know, he was, you know, God sending his own son in the likeness of sinful flesh, past tense. Okay, God, uh, Jesus Christ, the Son of God, is now glorified. No, the present tense are intangible flesh, this, these corrupt bodies of flesh. This is in Doctrines of Covenants. Uh, it says, the Father has a body of flesh and bones as tangible as man's. So, not just, basically, the Son of God and God the Father in Mormonism both have corrupt, uh, corrupt human bodies. Weird God you worship right there if you're a Mormon, but... Uh, what say the scriptures on the matter? Romans chapter 1, verse 23 down to verse 25. And change the glory of the uncorruptible God into an image made like to corruptible man, and to birds, and four-footed beasts, and creeping things. Wherefore God also gave them up to uncleanness, through the lusts of their own hearts, to dishonor their own bodies between themselves, who change the truth of God into a lie, and worship and serve the creature, more than the creator, who is blessed forever. Amen. That's uh, both atheism and... Uh, and evolution as well as Mormonism right there in that, in that, that verse right there. He, they changed the image of the incorruptible God like the corruptible man, that's Mormonism, and who uh, worship and serve the creature more than the creator. That's atheism and evolution right there, which are basically just the same thing. But uh, does God have, have a body of, of tangible human flesh? No. Okay, and neither does the Son of God. The Son of God has a glorified body, a glorified, pure, sinless body. Okay, God is a spiritual being. Uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 17. Uh, now the Lord is that spirit, and where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Okay, uh, God, the, uh, basically you have God is a spirit. Okay, John four twenty four, God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. He's a spiritual being, plain and simple. Okay, uh, God is without flesh and bones, in terms of you know corrupt human flesh and bones. I'll put it that way. Uh, Luke twenty four verse thirty nine. Uh, behold my hands and my feet, that is that, that it is I myself, uh, handle me and see, for a spirit hath not flesh and bones, as ye see me have. See again, Jesus is still in his human body, okay? His human form, so he has bodies of flesh, he has basically uh, flesh. But we see there, a spirit hath not flesh and bones, okay? God is a spirit, now the Lord is that spirit, okay? God as a spiritual being does not have a tangible human, bo a, a tangible human body. Uh, also, you compare uh, Luke twenty four thirty nine with First Corinthians fifteen fifty, and also Matthew chapter sixteen verse seventeen. First Corinthians fifteen fifty says, "Now this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God; neither doth corruption inherit incorruption." So, if if uh, God the Father and the Son have tangible bodies of, of flesh and bones, what do you do with that? Then that means they can't even enter heaven; they can't go into their own kingdom because flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God; neither doth corruption inherit incorruption. What do you do with that? What, what you have to do is you have to overthrow the Bible by just using the Book of Mormon as the final authority, which is what Mormonism does. Matthew chapter 16, verse 17. And Jesus answered and said unto him, Blessed art thou, Simon Barjona, for flesh and blood hath not revealed it, it, it unto thee, but my Father which is in heaven. Notice how the, the contrast there. Flesh and blood hath not, but my Father. See, the Father's revealing it to him, and Jesus saying flesh and blood hath not revealed it to him. Why? Because the Father is not flesh and blood. But Mormonism says he is. You know, a tangible body of flesh and bones. So, just goes to show that Mormonism is satanic and a counterfeit to biblical New, uh, New Testament Christianity and the Mormon God, you know, and God's plural, because they believe in more than one God. I'll be covering that in another video. Uh, is a false God, you know, slash gods.
So don't be deceived by Mormonism. Uh, it's counterfeit. It's satanic. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, again, one of Satan's attempts to hinder and attack the revival going on in America during the time. So anyway, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.